questions came through about how can we stay motivated if we're not going to get a bonus? What can we do? What can we do? Some of them were nice and some of them were not so nice. So I'm going to address this head on. The most important thing we can do right now is focus on the things that we can control. None of us could have predicted COVID. None of us could have predicted supply chain. None of us could have predicted bank failures. But what we can do is stay in front of our customers, provide the best customer service we can, get our orders out our door, treat each other well, be kind, be respectful, focus on the future because it will be bright. You just heard from Andy Owen, who happens to be the CEO of a posh furniture company known as Miller Knoll. She was speaking to her employees in a Zoom call just last month, and the employees were expressing concern that they wouldn't get bonuses this year, that bonuses would be withheld. Now, that first part of her response to them didn't seem too terrible, right? Seemed pretty okay. Well, she quickly goes from trying to motivate the workers to be kind, you know, to just work hard, everything's gonna be all right, to deriding them over wanting a bonus in the first place. Let's watch. It's not good to be in a situation we're in today, but we're not gonna be here forever. It is going to get better. So lead, lead by example, treat people well, talk to them, be kind and get after it. Don't ask about what are we gonna do if you don't get a bonus? Get the damn $26 million. Spend your time and your effort thinking about the $26 million we need and not thinking about what you're gonna do if we don't get a bonus, all right? Can I get some commitment for that? I would appreciate that. I had an old boss who said to me one time, you can visit Pity City, but you can't live there. So people leave Pity City, let's get it done. Thank you, have a great day. All right, so just to clarify a few things, uh, she references $26 million, but doesn't clarify what she's referring to there. Uh, so it's reportedly the operating expenses that the company had in the third quarter um, of the year. And so their operating expenses increased to $26 million in the third quarter. Sales at the company dipped 4.4% in the most recent quarter uh, that ended in Mar on March 4th, while orders slumped 19% with a slower economy and higher borrowing costs, reducing demand for expensive office furniture. So regardless of the circumstances, the clip is a little unbearable on its own. It's even more unbearable once you learn about the compensation for the CEO, including the fact that she collected pretty fat bonus herself. So the reporting has varied on how exactly her compensation breaks down. A lot of CEOs and executives get paid with stock options and a relatively modest salary compared to stock options. Sometimes the bulk of their pay is through a bonus at the end of the year. But here's what CBS is reporting. Owen, that's the CEO, received a hefty compensation package last year. On top of her $1.1 million salary, she received 3.9 million in stock awards and other compensation for the fiscal year ending on May uh, in May of 2022, according to Miller Knowles' most recent proxy statement. Uh, the company has expensed $15.7 million this year in stock-based compensation. And employee bonuses won't officially be determined until their books are closed next month. The company hit back following the backlash. We're gonna get to that in just a moment, but Cenk, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so look guys, there's a couple of things that are super relevant to the story. If she had just gone on this rant in a normal meeting, I know a lot of people would still flip out over it, I wouldn't. I would say, hey look, we don't know the context and like it's not totally wrong to if she said it in a way that was incredibly obnoxious, but not totally wrong to say, hey, let's pick ourselves up, okay? And just because we're in tough times doesn't mean that uh, we got to be down about it, etc. Let's work our way out of this. I, that's fine. But telling people when they are not getting a bonus, which a lot of them count on, that they're not getting one is a is a heavy thing. I I look, I've lived it and. It weighs on me. I don't go in there and go, oh, what are you in this pity city? No, that's insane. That shows a lack of empathy that is disturbing. And if it was just related to this one woman, look, it's not a, I we know, could Jane. all direct it towards her, okay? But it's it's not about her. 
It's a culture. It is. It is okay. a culture. Um, she's one of many CEOs who have the same kind of mindset. And Jenk, look, you're the CEO of this company, and I can totally understand if you have like a little bit of empathy if like the company isn't doing well, and it seems like because of the fact that they sell office furniture at a time when people aren't really going into the office, that's gonna hurt their company, I get that, right? But there's a difference between how you handle an economic slump and the way other CEOs handle economic slumps, and I want you to be very aware of that. Because while you like will literally take a pay cut and refuse any kind of bonus, if everyone else in the company is suffering as a result, every other CEO has no problem pocketing millions of dollars in bonuses while denying bonuses to their employees. That's the difference. And no one knows about that internal stuff. I'm not even supposed to be talking about it, but I'm gonna talk about it right now because you're an exception to the rule, okay? I, look, Anna, I get it and I appreciate you saying that. And I, I do, I, you know, in tough times, you're, if you're the captain of the team, you should take feel the pain first not last, right? And there's sayings like leaders eat last, and there's a good reason for that. If you're a real leader, you, in my opinion, you do it that way. But, but it, this isn't about me. So what I was getting to with her is, on top of not showing sympathy when people are going to have trouble making payments, not gonna be able to bring home money they, they were probably counting on, you could say, hey, you shouldn't have been counting on it as a bonus. Okay, fine, right? But still have a little bit of human empathy or whatever. But when on top of that, you're taking home millions in a bonus. Mm -hmm. And then you're yelling at them because they're in pity city. Now nah, that's the thing, guys. I, I know some of these executives and it is a little bit of a different culture and I'm being soft here, okay? I could be much harsher. And and they really think, no, 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 I, yeah. I'm not the same as my workers. No, no, my workers aren't getting them. Of course, I'm getting a bonus. And by the way, here's something you might not know, and that I know because of my business background. A lot of times, the CEO will get a bonus because they made the cuts. They yes. had massive layoffs. Yes, right? they laid off 162 employees at a manufacturing plant in Wisconsin, um, and that was announced earlier this month. So the employees have good reason to be nervous about the financial situation of the company, but also more importantly, what the future holds for them, whether it has to do with their jobs or bonuses. Yeah, and so you might be thinking, yeah, but why give her a bonus for that? I mean, they're struggling, they had to do layoffs, there's no bonuses for anyone else. Because of that culture, the culture it says, oh, that's a good, strong, tough CEO that did what needed to be done, saved the company a lot of money, so we should reward her with a big multi-million dollar bonus. And they don't see the hypocrisy of that at all. No, they don't, because what happens is there's a tremendous amount of pressure to cut costs, and the number one cost is labor. And so if executives like this CEO are paid through stock options, Right, they're rewarded or awarded shares of the company's stock. Well, they're gonna want the value of those shares to go up. And one of the ways the value of the share goes up is if you cut costs, meaning if you lay off people, you cut labor. It actually incentivizes executives to run with skeleton crews, to cut as many workers as they possibly can. There is a giant financial benefit if they do that. That is why this, this disconnect exists, right? That is why she can, with a straight face, kind of like mock the employees and, and mention the phrase pity city when they have very real and legitimate concerns about their jobs and their pay while collecting millions of dollars in compensation herself. Yeah, so look, one more thing about that. Some of the reporting is really fuzzy here. I read a story that got she got 1.12 million in the year before and 1.2 million the year before that. Um, but then you see the sometime, that maybe it was stock options and not necessarily bonus. But so let's give her the benefit of the doubt for a second. I'm not saying she just like deserves it, I'm just saying as a hypothetical that, that it was just stock. But again, guys, I've been there. If I just got a 3.9 million or let's take the lowest number, 1.12 million dollars in stock awards, even if it's not a bonus, I think, I just took home a million bucks. I'm not gonna tell these guys that I'm not paying bonuses to. Oh, what do you oh, you want me to pity you? Well, you go out there and do better, okay? No, you don't say it that way. That's crazy. 
don't do that. I know that I can't possibly talk them out of not taking the bonus. How many jobs could she have saved with that bonus? Right? Right. And so there's no force on earth that will get the majority of executives to do the right thing in that context. All we're asking is don't rub it in afterwards, right? It's not too much to ask for you to not pour salt on those wounds. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.